ahead and three. Oh, I get you. Okay. <laughs> I'm supposed to wait for her to give me a countdown. I'm all like. And in three, <laughs> two. Is that recording? It's been recording. Oh, okay. One, two, three, go. All right, Shank. So for this video, we're going to do a little trivia game because we watched this vi- this game and we love it now. And it's on Netflix if you want to check it out. All right, it's called, what is it called? It's called Bullshit. Oh, my yeah, gosh. It's called Bullshit. Yeah, y- y'all did yeah. not even, out of all this prepping, <laughs> you didn't even tell me there's a Netflix show. Well, it's a Netflix show. And so it's kind of a okay. fun concept as to how do you like, you basically call people on their bullshit. It, it's not new in the sense that, yeah. this, you know, I call bullshit. Like, it's kind of a thing that, you know, you've done with your friends for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's on Netflix. But yeah, no, one day, one <laughs> day Netflix way. is going to show us some love. Okay. And it's um, hosted by Howie Mandel. Yeah, and we love Howie. Oh, who's Howie? Oh, Mandel? America's Got Talent. Howie Mandel. The bald guy, germaphobe. Oh, okay. Dealer okay. No Deal. Deal. Dealer No Deal. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And we, we love us some Howie. We okay. Love Howie. Right. So we're going to, so each of us is going to get three questions. Okay. And we're, are we going to alternate, honey? Yeah. And you're going to keep score. Yeah. Okay. All right. So who wants to go first? Um, I, Jennifer, think of a number between zero and ten. Okay. Shank? Seven. I'm going to go three. Uh, eight, so. All right. <laughs> Shank is first. <laughs> uh, eight. <laughs> I feel like she made that up. I feel like, uh... <laughs> She's like, I want Shank to go first. <laughs> yeah. Screw you, Rab. Shut up. <laughs> Put the lotion right. on its skin. Okay. Shank? So number one for okay. Shank, you pick either A, B, C, or D. Which Danish Norwegian band released the hit song Barbie Girl Barbie Girl in 1997? Was it A, ABBA? B, Aqua? C, Vanilla Ice? <laughs> or D, Bjork? Mm. Lock in your answer now. Rad, don't look. We oh. got you on camera. I, I mean, I didn't look. I, <laughs> I wrote my answer down because we are on camera. I know the answer, so I know... If you're telling the truth, Shank. Mm. <laughs> okay, is your answer locked in? Not All that right. I was a fan of the song. It's locked in. All, All right. right. <laughs> okay, Close your paper. Okay. okay. All right. So, tell us, Shankle. Tell us what the answer what is, is and is why you answer? know that's the answer. Thank you. Uh, the Brad. reason Sorry. why I know this is the answer is because I can hear him singing this song. It's Vanilla Ice. I feel like he had dropped a track. Around this, that, and he's, and obviously he's white, so I feel like there's a play off of his, 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 uh, who he is in terms of like where he's from, okay, to throw you off a bit, okay, you know, uh-huh. and so I'm gonna have to say, see vanilla ice, okay, see vanilla ice, and that's, a, and I'm sticking to it. All right, can I go? Uh huh. What do you think it is? Absolute bullshit. <laughs> Absolute. Bu- I'm a Barbie girl. Yeah, vanilla ice. I'm a Barbie girl. But you can see Vanilla Ice spicing it up a bit. Uh, actually, around the time that song came out, I think he was Bobby going girl. metal or something. Yeah, bro. Um, good sell, good sell. Mm-hmm. Or did you really believe it? I I, I kind of believed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I know the answer. It's Aqua, right? Yeah. All right. Mm. <laughs> so I I kind of knew, but I was like, man, he he yeah. I was BSing. I was like, uh, but I was like, but you're telling me so. I'm like. Yeah, man, maybe he really. I didn't it. even know. I didn't even know the answer, so I was like, "I'm gonna just shoot with vanilla ice." That's how you do yeah. it. <laughs> All right, Jen. All right, Jen. Can we do something like a little bit? Uh... All right. Let's see what what something Rad would not know. There's nothing Rad doesn't know. <laughs> Rad knows. And these are kind of easy. Oh. oh. Princess Diana tragically died in a car crash in 1970, 1997 in which city? Was it A, oh, London, shit. B, Paris, C, New York, or D, Berlin? Um, okay. Now, I... I I'm familiar with this, obviously, you know, growing up in the 90s or 80s and 90s, you know, Princess Di was mm-hmm. like a huge thing, right? I was never into it, but Carl's mom, uh, you know Carl, mm-hmm. Carl's mom is a, was a massive Princess Di, and like she had the plates and books and autobiography, all that oh stuff, so gosh. she was a huge Princess Di fan. Yeah. Um, she took that really hard, and 97 was actually the year that I moved here, um, and so it, she took that very hard, so I specifically remember that happening, so... I'm going to say uh, A, London. 
because I, I I remember that. Oh, Justin is rad bullshitting you. He's bullshitting. <laughs> I know for a fact because you don't know. <laughs> no, you are wrong, Rad. It's B. It's Pai. Patty. Was it Paris? Was I it really Paris? didn't know. Yes. Now listen, all the stuff leading up to that was true. Yeah. Carl's mom was a fan. I remember her being heartbroken over it, but I had no idea where it happened. Oh, I remember having it. I was like, what do I care? Yeah. Yeah. I, was, yeah. I just yeah. remember when it happened, she was in Paris. I just remember that I and the reporters. You guys got me. Mm-hmm. I did not know that. Mm. I was like, it had to be London. Yeah. Right? I even circled it. Oh, see? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No Damn it, man. Oh. All right. All right. So yes, we, so we're we one to got, one. Yeah, so I say we both. <laughs> All right. Next one to Shank. Shank, in okay. which city were the 1992 Summer Olympics held? Oh, Was shoot. it A, Atlanta? B, Barcelona? C, Sydney. Good day, mate. <laughs> <laughs> or Seoul. Seoul. What year again? 1992. The Summer Olympics. And what were the options again? I'm sorry. <laughs> Atlanta. Atlanta. Barcelona. Sydney. Or Seoul. Was that Korea? Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh. <laughs> All right, brother. Give it to me. Have you locked in your answer? Oh, lock in your answer. I have. I have. All right, so I do know exactly where mm-hmm. the Olympics happened in 1991. It Two. was in Australia. It was in Sydney, Australia. 1992. I'm sorry, 1992. <laughs> <laughs> so confident. You got shit hanging from your mouth. <laughs> okay. So is that your final answer? <laughs> this is easy. All right, I'm going to say bullshit. I, I think it was Atlanta. Was it Atlanta? I think it was Atlanta. I don't know. Or Barcelona. I, I couldn't decide either. Oh. <laughs> the minute you fumbled the year. <laughs> I remember exactly what happened in 1991. 92. Uh, 92, sir. Two. <laughs> 1992. Jane, what is it? The 1992 games were perhaps the most successful modern Olympics held in Barcelona. Barcelona. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Rad, you've got two. Shank, you've got one. Aww. Let's see if you can tie it. I'm hot like fire. <laughs> fire. <laughs> mm, rad. Yes. Let's see. Oh, that's way too easy. Sorry, I shouldn't be jerking around. easy I because I know everything. She's <laughs> <laughs> like, how am I going to fumble Rad? Uh, Exceeding $1 billion at the box office, what was the highest grossing film of the 1990s. Oh. Please hold while I Google it. <laughs> well, what's my multiple choice? <clears throat> okay. I, I think it's too easy for you. You should just know. Mm. Titanic. Mm. Okay. Was it Is A, it? Independence Day? Was it B, Jurassic Park? Hmm? Was it C, Star Wars Episode One? What? Was it D, the Titanic? Titanic. <laughs> Tit- Titanic. <laughs> it was D. You know why? Because I remember I, I had moved here and it was such a big movie. Uh-huh. And I went to see it four times, bro. Oh, wow. Not that I loved it, but Damn, it was like you every- one hand, you hand single handedly helped them be number one. Yeah, pretty oh. much. Right. I mean, I did see Blade four times in the theaters. At that, oh. that, that, that. But every girl that you went on a date with wanted to go see that movie. And every time I went, it was packed. And I just remember it having this massive impact. I mean, anyone who was alive in the 90s remembers Titanic coming out. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Of course a billion. Yep. Yeah. That's easy. Yeah. All right. He's telling the truth. <laughs> he knows. Oh. So who gets a point? He does. Because if, if he's right that I'm telling the truth. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. So then maybe the I should have. So it would have behooved me to try to stump you. Yeah. But I feel like you would have caught yeah. on to it. I would have caught on. Yeah. And be like, pick something completely different. Yep. So and, the top grossing movies of the 90s was number four, Independence Day. Oh. Number three, Jurassic Park. Number two, Star Wars. And number one, Titanic. Ah. Titanic. Do you really say Titanic like Titanic. that? Titanic. I don't think I've ever paid attention. Titanic. Titanic. Uh. Titanic. <laughs> that works. 
That works. All right. Last one for Shank. Oh, oh we are tied. Oh, shoot. Tied. Like the NBA playoffs. I know. Defense. Oh, yeah. One for Shank. <laughs> <clears throat> this might be an all-around tie, and you guys will just have to arm wrestle for it. Oh, okay. I think I might be down for that. <laughs> <laughs> Which English soccer player, Justin, oh. married Spice Girl Posh Spice, oh. otherwise known as Victoria Adams, in 1999? <laughs> he put it in in 99. <laughs> <laughs> he put it down. He put a ring on it mm. in 99. Oh. What are the multiple choice? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I am failing hard. Was it A, Robbie Fowler? Huh? B, Sol Campbell? Was it C, did I say C twice? Uh-huh. David Beckham or D, David Seaman? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Is that a real person? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's a David Seaman. Everybody out there. <laughs> knows Beckham was married to a Spice Girl. And I think uh, the, I think uh, out of all the Spice Girls, only one of them married a soccer player and it was David Beckham. I know that. That's off top. Okay. He's telling the truth. Okay, so you get a point? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Man, you're right. We need harder questions. Next time yeah. we'll come with like like actual trivia questions. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I was doing all 90s. Yeah. David lost his finger last night. Who really cut it off? <laughs> <laughs> well, here questions it is. Like we that. might just we might just tie up there, Shank, or oh. you might walk away as the winner. Speaking of yeah. cutting fingers, have you been watching the Do- Johnny Depp and Amber Heard trial? Oh, man. I've been getting sound bites. Mm. It's crazy, right? It's pretty wild. Yeah. The woman is crazy. Just man. tune into it for one day now, and you'll be hooked. I've, I've just isn't been watching them. Isn't she contracted with Marvel? No, oh, DC. Oh, I don't think anymore. Oh, she's DC. She was an they're, Aquaman, Yeah, right? they're trying to petition there's, to get her out of Aquaman too, but I don't know if they can pull it off. I mean, anyway, we'll talk about that later. Wow. <laughs> All right. Rad. Rad. In the TV sitcom Boy Meets World, what is the name of Corey Matthews' best friend? Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Come on. No, I don't know this one. Oh. oh you could have totally bullshitted this. I used to watch Maybe this every day after work. Maybe I am. Was it A, Sean? B, George? C, Topanga? Or D, Eric? <laughs> What was B B and D? Uh, A was Sean. B George. Okay. C Topanga. Okay. Or D Eric. All right. Lock in your answers while I Google. Okay, so um, I was familiar with the show. Obviously, who wasn't? Right. Uh-huh. Um, it was a big show. Now, uh, <clears throat> I know that Sean's the brother, right? And mm-hmm. I know Topanga's the girlfriend. Mm. And I think they threw George in there as like a Seinfeld kind of thing. Because there ain't no kids in Boys Meet World running mm. around with the name George. <laughs> okay? <laughs> so, I'm going to go D. Eric. Okay? Because uh, by process of elimination, I know that that's got to be right. Okay. And you're telling bullshit. <laughs> it's Topanga. Because he, she, he was, they were really good friends. <clears throat> he uh-huh. had a crush on her, but I don't think they ever dated. Yeah, they did. Did they ever date? Yeah, man. The they actually brought the show back, and him and her had a kid. It was about their oh daughter. the show, the return of the show. Yeah, but no, they, not they in real life. No, no, no. In the return of the show, the boy meets oh girl meets world or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I have never seen this show. Oh, no way. <laughs> no. Topanga was banging back. She's then. very attractive. Oh, yeah, she was my very gosh. attractive in the nineties. So Topanga's best friend was Trini. Right. So it was Sean. The first season begins with Corey and his best friend Sean. Oh, I messed up. It was up. Sean. I thought Sean was the brother. Sean was my second option. Who was the brother? The older brother, the one that was very popular. I don't know. Oh, say. anyway. So I, I what thought. What show are you talking about? No, I thought. <laughs> no, I'm no, do you remember? Because Corey and then his brother <clears throat> was like. Mm-hmm. It was kind of like the JTT. Like he was like, oh, the, the older brother. Yep. And all the girls were swooning over him. Not Corey, oh, for sure. Their man. longtime teacher was George. That's oh, right. The guy from St. Elsewhere. I yeah. just remember. <laughs> so, so. They, they're a thing? They're married with kids and stuff? In the new show, they're not in real life. Oh. They're not in real life. Okay. But I remember they became a couple as the show went on. I remember Topanga. In the show? Yeah, Topanga and Corey became a couple. Yeah. I think you're right. Yeah, you're right. No, they were a couple, man. They definitely yeah. became a couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he lived next door. 
Yeah, I, I just I don't remember a lot because I didn't watch full episodes. That's mm-hmm. one of those shows that were on all the time, and I catch pieces of it because everyone knew it and it was yep. always on. Oh, yep. that's Topanga. Yeah. Are yep. you looking at her now or mm-hmm. back then? I had a huge crush on Topanga back um, then. A little bit both. She yeah. looks like uh, she reminds me of Candace Cameron. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know who that is. What's she know. from? What, what? What can you? Anyway. <laughs> what's so, her, what's so her social Shank, security number? So Shank, <laughs> Kirk, Kirk Cameron's sister. Do you remember <clears throat> Kirk Cameron? Cameron? I'm so terrible. Oh. I'm, I, I I need to see Tracy the Gold. Tracy Gold. I don't think she looks like Tracy Gold. I think she looks like um, the Marie Salinger, the girl from uh, Dream a Little Dream. These are all 80s references, so most of you guys probably won't know what we're talking about. They better. We bet <laughs> all of our fans should be born in the 80s. Yeah, something. Danny's yeah. like, oh, yeah, I do remember. That was my cousin. <laughs> right? what, Wait a minute. So he got, <clears throat> so I lost that last one, so he wins? Uh, so you. I, I lied, and, and he, you... he called me bullshit, and so he so he got that point. Oh, because I just. Yes. <clears throat> Dang, my I've been really like uh, uh, So you're telling me <clears throat> what's going on in my throat? <laughs> wait. Everybody has wait, a lot of allergies. I tied. Yeah. I, did I get him on his third question? Yes. Oh, then we're tied. You all got a point on each turn. So we tied. So you're tied. Oh. Okay. So we'll try this again next week, but Jennifer will come with some harder stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I say some that. Harder stuff. I say, I say come with harder stuff, like yeah. I'm all cheat up about it, and I didn't even get that one right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to need you to get together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they were really the way, easy questions. Yeah. Jen, did you start cutting your grass? I, I cut it for the first did time yesterday. yesterday. You did? Yeah, my grass looks terrible. Oh, mine so too. Bad. So it's I like green for the YouTube audience. If you, if you mm-hmm. haven't listened to the podcast, Shank is obsessed since finally like living in a house. To, he's obsessed with lawn work. Oh man! I and he was it. talking <laughs> last week to Nessa about like doing the lawn, like how excited he's like, I'm about to start doing lawn. And Nessa, okay. <laughs> Nessa, did Nessa talk to you about that? No, I heard you talking. Oh, you to heard her. me talking about? Oh, okay. And I was like, I wonder if Nessa's like yeah. enjoying this conversation. Yeah. <laughs> No, and I was excited to talk to Jen because I was right. like, I wonder if she cut her grass. <laughs> I, or, and I, I could assume. hear it around the neighborhood, too. Everybody's like, Wah. And I was like, oh, you know, yeah. <laughs> it's that time. Come on, Bo, let's go. There is there is something to it. There is something to it. Oh, there's a, there's yeah. literally scientific facts that uh, oh. folks that really love cutting grass, it is a stress reducer. Oh, yeah. The aromas that it provides. Uh-huh. It's very, it has very distinct aromas between gasoline and Mm-hmm. Um, the fresh grass and mm-hmm. if it's fresh or not, grass, yeah. it's relaxing. Okay, it really is. I I, I okay. enjoy it. I'm glad you enjoy that, mm-hmm. man. Um, that's interesting. Plus, we're getting some <laughs> we're getting some good rain this week. So yes, we are. I dropped Yay. it. I dropped it about that low because it was pretty long. Have you fertilized yet? Or is it too <clears> soon for that? I got a guy coming. Okay, so he's going to okay. come aerate and fertilize either this week or next week. See, those are the details I don't fully understand. Like when and how often. I mean, there was a mm-hmm. point where I took care of the lawn. Yeah, and I remember doing it monthly and it was just i just remember me so much effort yeah and no matter what i did sometimes i get these patches and i just got fed up with it yeah and, i mean there was a point where i i really it's did still a good, happening yeah there were years no that way. i did there was years where i did a really good job like of the treating it amazing. yeah and then putting it. like anti-drought stuff on it um certain kind of soils um using little tricks like when i had dead patches using like coca-cola uh just different things and i really um watering it properly mm-hmm. um and i really but it took so much to do that. And I didn't mind it. Um, it was just something I had to do. Mm-hmm. Um, and I have to say, when you get it to look nice, you feel good about it. Yeah, you do. But then it just kept, I felt like all that effort, it just kept dying on me. And, yeah. getting, and I just was like, ah, I just, it just fell out of favor with me. And then once Jennifer just slowly started taking it over, it just became, it just became her thing. Yep. Yeah. You know, and I know that probably sounds really bad to her. <laughs> My wife does the lawn work, but no, not um, at all. Different but we, for different yeah, folks. well, and yeah. she. Do you enjoy doing it, or is it just you just do it? A uh, little bit of both. It depends on my mood that week. I'm like, mm. okay, I'm gonna do the grass, yeah. and right. otherwise, I'm like, I guess I'll do the grass. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, it's because Jenna and Jennifer's out there, and we, I've always checked in, and I was like, er, is everything balanced? Am I doing enough? And yeah. she always lets me know because I always want to make sure that it's not like I'm I'm shucking certain tasks and she's taking on tasks just because no one else is doing it. Yeah. Uh, we've struck this really amazing balance. Uh, so, but but sometimes I like to make sure that you know hasn't yeah. dipped one way too far, where it's like oh, yeah. now you're not doing anything. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. Because uh, because. Uh, 
I do all the cooking and everything. Um, but then I, I like today we, we go home and there's certain cleaning to be done. It's just Jennifer. I think Jennifer has energy in certain tasks mm-hmm. and she, she has a routine. Mm-hmm. And so sometimes I, I'll offer, right? I'll offer. And then it disrupts her routine. Mm. I've really so, discovered I do not like <clears throat> cooking. Mm. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. But you got some grass, though. I got some grass. And so she'll, she brought it up. And <laughs> yeah. we mentioned it to someone else because I feel like I said, I feel like I'm not doing enough because I do all the cooking. But Jennifer does everything around the house. But then she had to point out that I, I do all the work. Right. And I feel bad. Anyway, she says we're balanced. And then oh, when I mentioned, yeah. I mentioned to someone else, I said, but I do all the cooking. <clears throat> that person was like, oh, you're good. You do all the cooking? I was like, yeah. They were like, then I will take care of everything else. Yeah. I was like, it's like that. That's, and she was like, yeah. So I felt better, and then, but it's it's checking in. Oh, you got to check in. Yeah, check in. Because sometimes Jennifer. the task can get stale. It can, and then yeah. it can be. Switch it up it can bit. be okay. Now you don't ever do. Now you're doing even less than what you were doing yeah. before. You're not even trying to like help me with these things. So I always like to check in because sometimes, and I'm glad that I'm aware that I'm like oh, maybe I need to do more. Mm-hmm. Like just cooking isn't really enough. Yeah, you know, or checking with the gym. And Jennifer's like, no, Rad, you you're the product. Like, we're, you're doing everything. Like, yeah. I don't mind that I have to do these things. I was like, okay, okay. Yeah. You know, so, so I think that's, that's the key. I know we didn't mean to get on that subject, but mm-hmm. um, now that we're mm-hmm. on it, you know, when it comes to those kind of things, man, check in, dude. Oh, Jennifer, yeah. Jennifer and I are not perfect. We had a span of years where we were not on the same page. Oh yeah. Right. And actually I remember that. I remember her saying I didn't do anything. And I, you, I remember the lawn work being one of those things on the list that I was like, no, I take care of the lawn. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that being on my <laughs> list. I was like, I do the laundry. I do I'm the lawn. I'm freaking sweating outside. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> honestly, honestly. Did you say I, you do laundry? I hate to say this. No, I, I used to. I used to fold all the laundry. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So that was our agreement. Jennifer did it. And I folded all of our laundry mm-hmm. um, and put it all away. Uh, anyway, we we tried to strike a balance, but I remember specifically, I think that's why she took it over. Yeah. Because I think I kept bringing up the lawn, and then she went and mowed the lawn, and I uh-huh. remember saying to her, why'd you do that? And she was like, because I, I, I can do the lawn. I said, no, that's my thing. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I use against you. So she took it away from me, and now I didn't have that anymore. Oh, wow. This is maybe why I started cooking. I don't yeah. really know. I'm like, yeah. I guess I got to start doing something hey. else. <laughs> hey, low-key Jen is strategic. She's she like, is strategic, could, bro. I can move this piece. <laughs> yeah. I can get his ass he'll to just, do that. Yeah. He'll just fall right into and this pocket fall here. right yeah. there. <laughs> Boom, Boom, bitches. Yeah. <laughs> Dinner every night. Right. Dinner is served <laughs> All by you. the time. <laughs> I love it. 